What's up guys, Stop Motion Genius here, and today I'm going to be doing a VFX breakdown of the SX498 sacrifice scene in scene in Order 66, the fifth episode to the LEGO Star Wars series. So let's get started. I'm going to be mostly focusing on when uh, more of the keyframing parts and more of the visual effects. So as you see here, this scene um, the Death Star, I don't have a very good software that I'm able to do much, like, video effects, but, I mean, obviously there's this. I mean more visual effects and more of, like, a cool and more realistic touch to it. And so here, I used different and cropped every frame of the beam. And so here, um, it was a hard 90 degree edge. I created this green beam in Photoshop and then put it on a blue screen. So you can see a little bit of blue, but I tried to chroma key it out as much as I could. So what I did is I brought on the beam and then it was a hard 90 degree edge right here. So what I did is I took the um, cookie cutter tool, which was actually really helpful, and I just grabbed the default and then made this more of a curved edge. So it makes it more, a little bit more realistic than it already kind of is, but so we just go here, and then I have the fully, uh, full image of this, and it's just out for a few frames. Then I crop this with the same cookie cutter thing and got it out where it was like this. Then it's just a little still frame for a few, and then I um, keyframed this ship. Well, I keyframed the stars, kept the ship in place. Which, keyframing, um, I haven't really talked about at all, but... It's just having these two frames, or however many frames you want, and making something move in the timeline. And so, this is actually a really helpful tool, because this is what I use to make my ships move in my series, and to make things move. And yeah, so this is actually a really helpful tool. But I wish that I could mask. I mean, not for that reason, but I just wish I could. Hopefully I can get a different software soon. Anyway, back to the thing. So here I use some more keyframing to make the uh, screen move, which, yeah, nothing too much here. And then here is what I mostly wanted to talk about. This was the, like, the Big Bang scene. This was when he closes his eyes. And I want to show you how I did this, because I thought it was actually really creative. And, um, yeah, I've never done this before, and I thought it looked really cool. So, as you see here, he closes his eyes. And yeah, obviously you've seen the film. And so here, uh, I here's how I did it. So first, I went into Photoshop, and I ha I took up this picture, and so let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. And so I took this picture and zoomed in a little bit. And then what I did is I uh, used this little lasso tool, and I cut around the eyes, making it this which actually would help me later. And then, so let's just get rid of that for now. And then I used the patch tool and got rid of the eyes from the original picture, but I still had this. So this is two separate frames of different things. So this is an overlap layer. So I'm gonna take this out for now. I saved this picture, and then I saved this picture without this and a green screen in the background. So then I also saved this, and I brought it into Vegas, or Movie Studio Platinum. And then I just chroma keyed out the green, and I made it look super realistic. So if we mute this layer here, it's just the layer from underneath. And so if I would have never told you probably, if this was a green screen, you probably would have never known. So this was two frames of different... Um, layers. And then for the eye close, what I did here is I um, grabbed video effects and then I grabbed the crop. For this reason I didn't grab the um, the icon because that would just move it down. This crop actually allows it to keep the aspect ratio but just uh, lower the, I should say, um, the frame rate or the, not frame rate, the resolution or the uh, just image size, but still maintaining the same properties of this place and things. Yeah, so, um, and then I just brought this down a little bit below the eye, and then I did that for each frame, so it's a little lower each frame. And this underneath is the original picture with the no eyes, and then I brought it down just a little bit, so you could see a little bit of the eyes, 
and then just go, and then here is the second part. So this is how I did the eye thing, which I thought was really cool. And so yeah, let's get to the second part. So this part's really short, so you'll see the Death Star, the beam, his ship, and the Star Destroyer, and then of course the star background. So the only still pictures in this uh, scene is the Star Destroyer, the Death Star, and the star background. The moving uh, moving pictures are the ship and the beam, which I also keyframed. So here I have the ship coming up, going, and then the, there's nothing there, and then there's the explosion. Then I just put this in, and where it totally, entirely covered the Star Destroyer, and I just got rid of it right there, and then had it fade out, and then there's the Star I mean, sorry, the Death Star over there. So, um, yeah, same thing, same effect I used with the beam. I used the cookie cutter and then, like, slowly keyframed it to go down like that, and then the explosion. And then I also put the tragic music. I seriously thought I was gonna cry when I first made this, which was kind of funny, but, I mean, probably not for real I would cry, but I thought it was kind of funny because I've, like, never done something like this before, and this is, I'm like, this is gonna be an emotional uh, scene for the viewers to see this person die and Yeah, so that's really it. And so I want to say thank you for watching and um, Thank you for 70 subs. I think I'm at 71 now and it will continue but thank you for that that means so much to me and Getting there is a big achievement and I just wanted to thank you everybody who's been supporting my channel and everybody that's been commenting and uh, help me improving my content, because I love doing this. And so I want to thank you for that. Yeah, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.